Halloween is right around the corner and there's a lot more we need to keep in mind besides keeping the chocolate away from our dogs. Our expert canine trainer and behaviorist Antonio Diaz joins us so with what we need to know. Good to yeah, see you. Nice to see you too. Okay, so this is my Juno here in the Beautiful. monitor behind me. Um, based on what you yeah. see here, do, would you say she enjoys this costume or not? I would say based on that video, I would say she's um, she's okay with it. I can't see her ears, her, her pupils don't right. look dilated. She's um, tolerating yeah, it. She's, I think she's okay with it. Yeah, she shook it. We're not it. torturing her with She it. shook it off yeah. right after okay, that. Yeah. We, we didn't put it back on. We just gotcha. wanted to get the photos. Okay, but not every dog is um, will work with the costume. Yeah. Some of them don't like it, but there's so much we need to know yes. about Halloween, which Agreed. you really don't even think about. Yeah, well, I mean, one of the first things I would say to touch on is... Um, kids interacting with dogs. Mm. So fun story, when I was a kid, I actually put on a werewolf mask and wanted to see what my dog would do. Uh -huh. I got bit in the face. <gasps> you did? Yeah. So Through luckily, yeah, nothing, nothing like, I, so it just knit me, but there was a hole in the mask. Okay, so and that's good to yeah, know. Yeah, I, I mean, like, you know, I was kind of a, a, I wouldn't say I was a dumb kid, but I was very curious. So sure. I would like push some boundaries and that was one right. of them. Right, like so, how will my dog react yeah. to this? So, Sorry, statistically, kid, young boys and young children are more like they're 50% likely to get bit. So of the, all the people that get bit, 50% are kids. Wow. But Halloween is a bad time for that because, you know, young boys do that. They're wearing mm -hmm. a costume. Maybe they want to see how their dog's going to respond. Mm -hmm. Or they don't think about it, and they just show up in the costume, and the dog is like, sure. what the heck is that? Okay, so let's talk about some do's and don'ts. So okay. obviously... Don't put a mask on and get right in your dog's face. Exactly. Okay, yes. we just learned that through your experiment as yeah. a child. So, well, with kids, I would say just be, just understand that the dog won't recognize them. So right. we, you know, often think that dogs um, are sniffing first. So, yeah. so their nose is very, very strong, but their initial instinct isn't to smell. It's they're going to look at what they're seeing sure. and then try to make judgments and decisions based on that. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if the kid got closer, they could smell them. So I would suggest, for example, if you want to get the dog familiar with a costume, let the dog smell the costume. Let the dog maybe see the costume laid out. Okay. Put the costume on the child. And before you put the mask on, let the dog be in the presence. Put the mask on. Take it off. Let, let the dog the experience dog see that. you exactly. put the mask on. Yes, rather than just okay. putting it on in the room and then coming out to the living room and then bam. Now let's say uh, your child is putting the mask on in front of the dog and still the dog starts growling or some other behavior yeah. where you can tell the dog is not liking it. What do you do to get them a little more used to it? Great question. I would take the mask off and invite the dog to come and investigate it on their okay. own. Maybe put some food around it and just try to encourage them. Um, to to become comfortable with it. Okay, let's talk about strangers coming to the door. You yeah. know that that is a trigger for my dog. What would you say? Most dogs, yeah. So I think one of the best tips I could give is to desensitize the dog to the doorbell. So, and so I'll, I'll preface that real quick and say that um, if you have a phone, everybody has a phone, you can get an app that has the ability to put a recording on loop. So you can loop your doorbell, put the dogs away so there's no background noise, and then play it at about a 15 second interval. So doorbell rings, 15 seconds later, doorbell rings. What you can start to do is reward your dog, and if you let that play for however long you can tolerate it, um, eventually your dog, your dog will become desensitized. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing I'd recommend is teaching your dog place, so, so going to the bed and mm -hmm. staying on the bed. Um, there's some time before Halloween to get that done. Um, if you can't do that, then I would say put the dog away. Yeah. Because the I, the thing is, is that dogs run away a lot during this time mm. of year because the door is constantly opening. Yep. Um, you definitely don't want the liability of a dog running out and biting a child or nope. anybody that's coming to the door. So that's uh, that would be my number one approach would be desensitize the door. If it's too much to do that, then I would say put the dog away. Okay. Great tips. Yeah. Thank you so much You're very as always, and Thank you guys. hope you all have a safe Halloween with those tips. And we will be right back. Thank you.